Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of the sine of 3t times the cosine of 2t solution. So when you see something like this, um, you should recall a trig identity. So if you have the sine of a times the cosine of b, this is equal to, so it's 1 half, parentheses, and then it's sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. So in this problem, our a is 3t and our b is uh, 2t. So we have sine of 3t cosine of 2t it's equal to 1 half. So we have sine, and then we add these, right? So it'll be 3t plus 2t. So that's 5t plus, and then sine of a minus b. So 3t minus 2t is just t, piece of cake. So again, it's really all about knowing the formula. So when you have a sine and a cosine like this and the inside numbers are different, um, think about the product to sum identities. That's what this is called. This is the product to sum. So a is 3t, b is 2t. Let's just check this. 3t plus 2t is 5t. Checks. 3t minus 2t is t. Checks. So now we can distribute the 1 half. So this is 1 half sine of 5t plus 1 half sine of t. Now we're good to go. We can take the Laplace transform. So the Laplace of this thing. So this is 1 half sine 5t plus 1 half sine t. And we can break it up. This will be 1 half Laplace of the sine of 5t plus 1 half Laplace of the sine of t. Good stuff. And the formula for the Laplace of sine kt, I always remember that sine has the k, so and cosine has the s. So on the bottom, sine and cosine are the same. So if it's cosine, you have an s. Cos cosine has the s. Sine has the k. So if it was cosine, you'd have an s here. A uh, sine has the k. So this is one half times. So k is five in this problem here, right? Because it's five t. On the bottom, it's s squared plus 5 squared, so 25, plus 1 half. And then here, k is 1. There's an invisible 1, so it's just 1 over s squared plus 1 squared, which is just 1. And that would be the final answer. That's it.